Hey guys, this is Tara with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and today we are doing an unboxing of The Witch's Moon for October 2021. So when I got this in the mail yesterday, it felt rather substantial, <laughs> and I could already smell uh, the wonderful incense, uh, whatever incense is in this box. So I can even smell it throughout the like outer packaging. Anyway, let's go ahead and open her up. I'm super excited about this. Okay, okay, okay. Just lay that back. All right, so we have our little intuitively picked card that they do for all their subscribers. Um, oh, definitely gonna save that. <laughs> and uh, they have their um, list of all the magical items that are inside of here, but let's first take a look at the Oracle card that was chosen. This one says confidence by earth and air, water and fire. Let my confidence take light, burn higher. Beautiful. I love it. Okay. So we'll go ahead and put that aside and let's take a look at um, what the theme is for this month. So this is called protectress of the veil. As we step into the sacred season, we begin to truly rely on our practices to assist us in obtaining meaningful whispers of guidance. With the veil thinning, we delve deeper into our connection with our ancestral and spiritual guides. While working with these guides, we call upon very specific energies for fierce protection and guardianship. We confidently walk into the dark half of the year, working with the shadows to realize our intentions and refine our interpretations and understanding. We've been working on this very exclusive and one-of-a-kind collection for over a year and cannot wait to finally bring these items to our subscribers this coming Samhain. This, the magical items in this box are as follows. Heck yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that aside. Oh, by the way, um, they also give you an extra piece of parchment paper, you know, some nice bougie paper so that in case you wanted to write some spells, sigils, intentions, affirmations, whatever. Um, sometimes it's nice to do it on some uh, more high quality type paper. Uh, I usually use, you know, particular fountain pens or um, magically infused ink uh, for those purposes. And so I do like to put it on nicer paper. So really appreciate that. Okay, so putting that aside, let's go ahead and see what's in here. Oh, by the way, let's see what deck this um, Oracle card was from. This was from, let's see, they meditated and selected a card from the Magical Spell Cards deck by Lucy Cavendish. Uh, this deck and the prayer in action that it holds was meant for you. Take the time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds. Let it speak to the pressing realities in your world, providing you with the relevant guidance you may need at this time. So I love that. That was beautiful. Thank you so much, Witch's Moon. <laughs> okay. See what else we have in here speaking of the veil thinning too oh my goodness there were so many spirits in the apartment last night i mean because it's an apartment complex there's going to be just a lot of energy in general but um i was seeing an old man and a cat jumping on the counter and then uh, my boyfriend came in was like i heard an old man whispering in my ear and i felt a cat around me i'm like hmm, same <laughs> anyway so this is called uh whispers in the night and this looks like it might be um, an affirmation spell for perhaps their spell candle. Uh, but let me take a look at, um, yeah, this is the Whispers in the Night Book of Shadows artwork, I guess. Uh, yes, to accompany the Whispers in the Night spell candle, uh, we've included this artwork for you to display on your altar or use during rituals associated with Samhain. So this was written by G. Ibis and it was illustrated by A. E. Alden. So they were working together and they do some fabulous work together when they do. So beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to utilize that. Okay, and look like we have some beautiful artwork here. Oh, Medusa. Heck yeah, check out this girl. I love that their artwork, you know, especially for like Books of Shadows or your Book of Shadows, they have a lot of really cool information um, as well as art. So it's not 
just art, although you could fill your book of shadows with just art, of course. Um, but let's see, what does it say here? The Medusa Book of Shadows created exclusively for this very collection. This beautiful and inspired uh, Book of Shadows artwork provides historical information regarding the origins of this great goddess. Keep this print within your Book of Shadows for reference or display in your sacred space. It was written and illustrated by A.E. Alden. Um, and I like, you know, looking into um, all aspects of like the the foes and the heroes of you know certain mythologies of di different cultures because uh, oftentimes in the uh, the darker deities or um, you know enemies or you know whoever the antagonist may be uh, oftentimes it's representative of what the um, beliefs and ideologies were of the culture at that time you know and you know at the time you know maybe what their beliefs were towards women especially powerful women and so I think it's really cool to be able to take a deep dive into that so I'm so glad uh, they included Medusa so freaking a man so cool all right let's move this out of the way by the way really good for repurposing for your own packaging material maybe for you know gifts and goodies that you send people Ooh, this must be their spell candles let's go ahead and open this one up Beautiful spell candle. And they hand roll these spell candles, by the way. Let me see if it, oh, they always smell amazing. Ooh, I think this one has been um, anointed. So let me see what that says in here. This is the hand rolled uh, Whispers in the Night spell candle. Um, says they've hand rolled it with the intention of enhancing the magic that surrounds you during Samhain. Uh, this time is meant for you to communicate with your ancestors and spirit guides through meditative and divinatory practices. Uh, as you call upon Medusa to be your guardian and protectress, release any fear you may have. Be open to the messages and signs that may be gifted to you during this time. Uh, talks a little bit more about it, but it says, oh, they did, um, they did anoint this. They dressed the candle. It is dressed in the oils of cedarwood, sandalwood, and jasmine. Very nice. And so again, they said that you could pair, you know, this with the spell candle if you wanted to, but you know, your practice is your practice. They just have, you know, these beautiful tools and then you decide how you would like to work with them. So it's totally up to you. So very nice. I appreciate that. Okay. And then we have the veil incense sticks and let me have a little, little sniff of these. Let's see. Maybe this is, I think I was smelling mostly that spell candle. Mmm. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, what is that scent? Um, it smells really nice. It's, it's kind of a darker, kind of musky scent, um, but kind of sweet, sweet and musky. Um, let's see what it says about these incense sticks. It's called the Veil Virtual Incense Sticks. As you allow the smoke from this ritual incense to waft throughout your sacred space, allow its protective and blessed energies to surround you. Uh, it says you can burn it during Samhain while you perform magical workings. So it doesn't really actually say what the scent is, but I would say kind of like a sweet mix of uh, a musky scent, which I love. I love musk. Ooh, do we have herbs? Yes, we have herbs. <laughs> I love working with some herbs. We have yellow dock root. So that's, that's kind of what's in the middle here. A very medicinally beneficial herb, yellow dock has been used for its digestive support and distinctive cleansing properties. Although known magically for its ability to attract money and love, uh, yellow dock root also assists us in clearing emotional and spiritual blockages. Well, that's cool. You know, I've never used a uh, yellow dock root, so I'm excited about that. I love <laughs> being able to work with new herbs. Okay, epazote herb, another cleansing and digestive promoting herb. Epazote is well known for its deep history in Latin America and indigenous herbal remedies. Magically, this special herb also works to digest the hardships of life and clear out any negative and stagnant energies. Um, so again, that's gonna be cool to work with. And then on the end here, we have fenugreek seed or bird's foot, most commonly found within money magic spells and sachets. Fenugreek 
has the unique uh, quality of enhancing growth of all kinds. Fenugreek can also be used for grounding and psychic protection during strenuous rituals that may include astral travel and shamanic journey. Um, and it gives the elemental association, planetary association, and gender of that particular herb. But let's just go in and get you guys all in this herby goodness. So that's the new Greek and yellow dock root and epizote herb. You know what? Um, I thought I had some of this, but it's um, it's a different different herb. All right, so excited about those as well and getting to know uh, those particular herbs and seeing how I can incorporate them into my practice. All right, oh, they're bath salts. I love these. And by the way, I mean, you could use them for actual, you know, when you're making, doing a bath, uh, drawing a bath for yourself. Um, or you could put it into like a little um, muslin bag, like a little sachet, hang it from your shower head and just kind of like do an aromatherapy type shower. Uh, you could also uh, put this in a bowl of warm water and pour it over your head while you're in the shower. Um, you could soak your feet, like do a little foot bath with this, you know, so there's, there's many other ways that you can use bath salts if you don't have an actual bath, bathtub. Um, I, even though I have a bathtub, I prefer to take showers. And so um, I sprinkle this on the floor of my shower and I have like a little drain catcher thing so that all the herbs don't go down the drain. Um, so that I can kind of step on them and let them infuse from my, you know, the um, chakras in my feet all the way up through my crown. So anyway, let's see what's in uh, this Samhain um, uh, sacred salt. Okay, so upon much request, we've included our Samhain sacred salt within the special collection. Samhain is a Gaelic festival marking the end of the harvest season and the beginning of the darker half of the year. The festival date falls halfway between major solar celebrations, the autumn equinox and winter solstice. This blood harvest signifies the thinning of the worlds when earthly and spiritual realms overlap. This very special time of year is for honoring the ancestors and placating restless spirits. We've created this sacred salt with the intention of celebrating this sacred time of year. And it talks about how you could use it, but you know, um, it's definitely up to you. Uh, but they've enchanted it with clove, star anise, and amber oils, as well as yarrow, vervain, and mugwort herbs, and a special mixture of their ancestral honoring magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. So let's open her up so you guys can see all the goodies in there. And I give it a little smell. Oh my gosh. That smells like salad. That smells like... Halloween and it smells like Dia de los Muertos like it's smell I don't know there's like a particular smell that I associate with that and that's what that smells like I can't really describe that to you but there's definitely a lot of clove in there which kind of almost reminds me of pumpkin pie and yeah so very nice I'll just put that right there okay um okay well let's see uh, what's in here Ooh, Medusa. So this is their magical anointing oil. Very cool. Okay, so what does it have to say in here about Medusa's magical anointing oil? Okay, this very powerful Medusa magical anointing oil was created with the intention of providing protection and safety to you during times of uncertainty. This oil can work specifically towards protecting you from psychic attacks and intruders. Uh, talks a little bit more about it, but it says that in here they have ylang ylang, anise, vanilla, patchouli, and cedarwood oils, as well as the herbs of lavender, patchouli, and dandelion. Uh, there's a Lemurian quartz in here and a little bit of their protectress magical oil from their personal cabinet of witchery. So let's go ahead and open her up. Very nice, very nice. And then we have a snifsky. I think that's the uh, ylang ylang that's coming through, but it's very like dark feminine, like very feminine, the scent. Mm, it smells so good, actually. <laughs> I'm like thinking, ooh, maybe I'll wear this today. <laughs> have a little, have a little magic. I mean, who doesn't need a little bit of protection when they're out and about, right? Okay, um, what is this? Ooh. 
Ooh, crystal time. I do like to reuse these little sachets, by the way. Okay. This appears to be some sort of agate. Let's see what it says here. Um, this is a flower agate stone found with Chalcedony inclusions markings, uh, marking the features of a flower. This very special form of agate is truly beautiful and carries within immense abilities to assist us during this time. A uh, flower agate has the unique ability to sever our ties with emotional and physical pain or baggage. During the dark half of the year, we focus on these specific intentions as we face our shadows and work to bring healing and restoration, restorative energies to ourselves. It's also known as a growth stone. The flower agate pushes us towards progression in our professional and personal aspects. Um, so it says you can use it during meditation, you can place it on your heart or your root chakras. Already, I feel like it's a really calming energy. Very nice. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I'm just looking through my papers here and see. Okay, I think we're down to one last thing. And it's heavy, which is probably why this whole box was heavy. Put some of this back down in here. Reuse that fluff. <gasps> what? Are you serious? Yes, they're serious. <laughs> I know they say to look upon her is to turn you into stone, but I wonder where that belief came from. To have created such a myth. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's let's read up on this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold this down here because it's kind of heavy actually. <laughs> you know what? Let's uh, let's move the box out of the way. And then I'm going to place it down here and I'm going to zoom in. You guys can take a gander at that while I read. Okay. So it's an exclusive brass Medusa plaque. It's heavy y'all. This one of a kind brass Medusa plaque was designed by the witch's moon and exclusively created for this very collection. The deep tragic and magical history of Medusa is very dear to us. Her strong protective energies resonate within our sacred space during times of deep shadow work and ritual, guarding us from energies that are not welcome. We call upon this great uh, guardian to watch over us as we work with divine and feminine energies, communicate with spirit guides as well as ancestors and work on protective spells. There are a variety of myths associated with Medusa, but most commonly the heartbreaking tale of the betrayal cast upon her. The name Medusa is said to be translated into queen or guardian. Originating in Libya, a neighbor to Greece in the Mediterranean, Medusa is considered a sea spirit and the only mortal Gorgon sister or Gorgonian. This, of course, is due to her being a beautiful mortal woman before a curse was cast upon her. It is said in some mythology that Medusa was violated and abused by Poseidon in Athena's sacred temple. Others say that she had consensual sex with Poseidon. It was this knowledge that brought the anger and fury of Athena, who transformed Medusa into a morbid and terrifying creature, capturing the features of a dead corpse and growing poisonous snakes as hair. Um, and it talks a little bit more about her mythos. Um, but then, let's see. Medusa is associated with the Algol star, uh, traditionally perceived as representing Medusa's eye and resonating with female power and the feminine divine. You can also find the snake-like filaments within the Medusa Nebula within the constellation of Gemini. Heck yeah! Um, protective amulets are commonly carved into the head of Medusa to guard against any intruding energies. Uh, Medusa can manifest as the goddess she was prior to her transformation or may come into existence as a mermaid. We call upon Medusa during this time as the veil thins to provide protection and guard us from unwanted spirits and energies. 
May her blood bring our ancestors and guides to our sacred space so that we may communicate and receive guidance. And it gives you the elemental association, um, the celestial influence, um, and uh, certain ritual offerings that you could um, offer this particular deity. But just blown away. I, I knew they were going to go all out, especially for, you know, Samhain, but they, they go all out, you know, every month. But yay! All right, you guys, so that was everything in this month's Witch's Moon Box for October 2021. Um, I am just blown away and I cannot wait to see how I might incorporate these various uh, magical tools into my practice. And that's something that I love about the Witch's Moon is because um, it's not geared towards a very specific type of belief system. You know, they try to um, encapsulate a lot of different, um, you know, deities and, um, um, magical workings and beliefs and things like that so that you can kind of pick and choose how you want to work with these depending on you know how you practice so um, I'm very excited about being able to use these new herbs and kind of how I'd like to do that I like to make teas um, and uh, certain herbal blends so that's gonna be fun to work with but I mean awesome job witches moon <laughs> <laughs> I'm so stoked about this. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of, you know, um, unboxing with me. Um, I do this because, you know, I like supporting small businesses, especially um, people as wonderful as the folks over at the Witch's Moon. And they have wonderful customer service. They put together some fabulous, you know, quality items, knowing that there's going to be real witches out there that are going to be using this stuff. And it's not just for aesthetic, you know, although it is gorgeous, um, you can actually use use it and use it for, you know, especially like this is going to last, you know, you're going to hand this down to your children, you know, <laughs> your grandchildren. Um, but yeah, there's, it's, it's just, you know, all I can say is it's magical. So, um, I put their link down below if you are interested in subscribing to the witch's moon. They also have the Witch's Bounty um, and uh, the Witch's Roots Box if you're interested. Um, but really, you know, I just like putting this uh, magical stuff out there. And also it could give you ideas of things that you'd already have on hand. Like maybe you have some of these herbs or herbs that are similar. Maybe you have, you know, some of these things. And maybe you do work with Medusa or some of the more dark goddesses, um, you know, just to give you ideas. Because, you know, a, a witch is able to utilize his or her environment. And it has nothing to do with the, you know, uh, bougie of the tools that you use. It's just being able to create magic out of seemingly nothing, right? So anyway, like I said, their links are down below. Fabulous job, which is Moon. And um, yeah, if you guys dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding, ding, ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading from me, head over to www.kittensweightsintero.com. I have a lot of different types of readings. I have uh, mediumship readings, uh, rainbow bridge readings for your little pets. Uh, your little furry friends, feathery, scaly. Um, I also have um, my, uh, you know, tarot readings, Lenormand. I do crystal scrying. I have contramancy readings where I read with seashells um, and, you know, a plethora of other things. But I also have uh, my room and body sprays and my salves that I make by hand. And I also have my Wally's World Oracle, if you're interested. It has my little Wally Walito in there. Um, and hey, if you're looking for more witchy items, uh, I have a little witchy shop that I run with myself and James over at Light of Riga, and it's called Desert Cauldron. It's over on Etsy. It's all one word, Desert Cauldron. You can find us on Instagram at desert.cauldron. But we have a lot of uh, magical one-of-a-kind tools for your one-of-a-kind practice. And we also understand that there are a lot of uh, beliefs and practices out there um, and people that may not consider themselves witches, but they do consider themselves magical practitioners. Um, so a lot of our items are handmade either by us uh, utilizing antique uh, items, kind of bringing in a, a bit of that, um, you know, 100 year old age into uh, some of our items, or uh, we have them uh, created by local artisans or our friends over at the surrounding um, reservations here in Arizona. Uh, some of the items we carry are this um, gold sheen obsidian uh, pyramid. Uh, Mayan pyramid. Um, as many know, I'm a Mayan astrologer, so I, I, we tend to kind of gear some of the things towards that. But you know, there's a lot of different things there. We have crystals. So as James um, deals in the world of crystals, he knows everything crystals. And he also has his shop, Light of Riga, um, on Etsy as well. Um, we have a uh, gold sheen obsidian a ceremonial dagger. Um, this was hand carved out of obsidian. It has a wonderful snake here, which 
you know, kind of goes with Medusa, but also for me, uh, goes with uh, Ishel, you know, snake representing healing, rebirth, um, you know, medicine, uh, shedding of one's skin. So really good for uh, cord cutting, things like that. So anyway, check out Desert Cauldron and come dance in the desert with us. All right, so that's it for me. All my other information is down below for my newsletter that I send out only once a month. Um, I also have my Patreon homies and uh, lots of other goodies. So check all that stuff out and I will catch you later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out.